Alrighty, back again. Today, we've got a ground wasp nest. I've uh, attacked this guy's poor dogs, as you see. I actually put a little fence up around him just to keep his dogs away from him. They're uh, right here in between the two flags. So I'm gonna get suited up. We're gonna go in there and we are going to eliminate these little bastards. Alrighty, so back again. Today, we've got another ground wasp nest. So, as always, we'll start out, we're gonna dust these guys a bit, make sure any of them that fly away get covered in our dust so it takes them out. And then uh, we will dig and uh, see what we can get up in there. So far, nothing bum rushing out. Normally, they flood out. Let's see if we got anything. No, no, no. They're not wanting to come out. So, I guess we will uh, just start digging them then. I'm like waiting for them to flood out and they just don't want it today. Definitely go in the right direction. So, our nest it looks like it's being a little tricky. Now it's going out down this way. So it came in this way, looped around and went down that way. Let's see if maybe we can dust in there. Antagonize anything. No, no, no. Like it was odd. Normally I, I get totally bum rushed, so. This is a uh, less exciting one than normal here. They're swarming me. But uh, I'm not really. Looks like dust is over here. I'm not exactly sure how it got over there. That hole ended right there. I guess we'll start digging in there, huh?
yeah, buddy. I totally get it. Going to, buddy. I want to find your home. I'm just not exactly sure where it is yet. So, not really seeing anything in here. I see some termites. They're all kind of returning home, but I'm not seeing home. <laughs> I'll have to look through the dirt that I took out already, make sure I didn't move it and it was just really small or something, but I'm not seeing anything yet. <laughs> me, huh? Seeing a little opening over here. Guessing that might be it. Seems like they should be a little more heavily active right now, and they are not. So, keep going. come out so it's looking like our nest is down in here which was a uh, pretty good distance away from the hole I'm like it's kind of hit or miss with these guys sometimes they dig a hole straight down and sometimes they have some zigzag labyrinth type thing going all over the place so it seems like our activity is originating from in that area so Oi, oi, oi. Try to go a little bit further. And you see we got another wasp in there. But where was the nest? In here. 
here, right? <laughs> Oh, he's attacking you, phone. Man, they're really attacking me. There's like no activity, and they are attacking the living crap out of me, though. It's kind of a little awkward. <laughs> but the show must continue. Oh, there we go. We got some white ones coming out now. You see them? Oh, boy. About time. We're digging so deep, I almost didn't think we were going to find a nest here. White wasps are definitely telling me that I'm heading in the right direction, though. So, we hit a big chunk of that white stuff, which means they're coming towards the ending. Just like right there. Oh my god. This one was much deeper than I had suspected it to be. Here. Going through. I'm sure we didn't dig out a nest yet. Of course not. There's a whole ton of the white dust. Again. Tells me we're heading in the right direction. go we're hitting something now and there's our nest look at that mm. and dust in there town a bit here they're like really attacking me there's really not a whole lot of activity but they are swarming me it's a uh, kind of awkward but as you can see, we definitely found our nest. It's right down there. Let me kill a few of these dudes. Look at them, they're just like landing on my face like crazy. These dudes are not too happy here. But you know, hey, what you gonna do, right? Oh, that guy, guy stung me, I feel him buzzing. <laughs> He's trying to get away, look at his little wings going. He's like, I can't get out of here. My butt is stuck. Alright, well. Let's get this moving, right? I'd like to move, remove it kind of as nice as possible. You see, they're just trying to get in my face. Let's go a little bit further here. Mm -hmm. 
crap out of me still. right here. Kind of want to dig around it the best I can. I'd like to get it out in like near one piece, but I don't think that is going to be physically possible. As we can see, it's our nice little nest right there. Got some dudes coming and going. Can I lift this out in one piece here? No. Oh man, look at that hand. My lord. That was all. <laughs> My freaking God, man. <laughs> it's insanity. It's what happens when you grab the nest like that. You shouldn't have just grabbed it. Squished it. They all want to come out and kill me now. You know, hey. I understand. I definitely understand how they feel. <laughs> My God, the numbers are insane. Did you see them all in there? Oh my God, there had to be a million. <laughs> They're all gonna come out now, not happy at all, but it's totally cool. I'm gonna slowly kill some of these guys landing on my face. all the nest. There's just so many. My hands are getting assaulted like crazy. Look at them all in there. a queen but man there are like a bazillion of them <laughs> ay, ay, ay. so I'll take a little look at that but man you see this They're like ridiculous every day I deal with this and surprisingly I get like no new subs on <laughs> YouTube I'm like you guys see what I go through and it's just no one wants to share these videos for some reason. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So, as we see though, here's our big old nest. It looks to be the first layer there. You can see all the little bridging between the actual shell and that one right there. Oh, yeah. And we got this big slab right over here, followed by Another big slab right there. I'll lightly get you guys with the dust in case any of you fly away. We had a little layer right there. It kind of got smushed off of one of those while I was pulling it out. 
over here, Arr, we got the bottom. So looks like we had three layers and then four, five, six layers. Not a shabby nest. Definitely was a little more work to access this one than uh, most of them are. But you know, hey, it is what it is. Sometimes you gotta work a little more for the good stuff. But uh, other than that, that was that whole nest. It's definitely absolutely nuts. There's a lot more digging than I am used to. That one was a, uh, a good amount of a workload there, you know? God, there's just so many of them. Like, look, that's like a handful in the dirt underneath the nest. It's like my whole hands vibrate and there's just so many of them in there. That one right there kind of looked like a queen. I don't know that. It's hard to tell. Oh boy. You see it compared to the shovel size though. That was a pretty good size ground loss nest. I'm still over here like getting just assaulted by these dudes. They they know who did it and they are not happy about it. <laughs> but so uh I swear I brought a uh, garbage bag with me. Maybe I did not. You know, watch as they all go back in their hole. What you do with our home? Yeah, I do got a garbage bag. So I'll throw the nest up in this garbage bag. I'll uh, treat down in that hole, way down there. I mean, God, look. Look at the size of that hole I had to dig. That's probably one of the biggest holes I have ever had to dig to get a ground loss nest out. Remember, if you, if you remember at the beginning of the video, it was like right down here where the entrance was, and it was going this way. <laughs> so, I mean, it was weird. The entrance went in, then down, then left, and then just straight back that way, like two feet. Normally, they only dig a couple inches, so this is definitely a bit of an unusual one. But, nonetheless, Problem solved, so no worries here. Do one more glamorous shots of these combs as I throw them in the garbage bag. That one was two layers. We like getting towards the beginning slash early fall, so uh, most of these guys would have been hatching real quickly. And this problem could have gotten a whole lot worse real quick. You see the delta dust there. I'm actually, I keep calling it delta dust, and uh, so my normal supplier was actually out of stock. So I'm actually using Tempo Dust on this one. And uh, uh, I don't know, man. I might have to buy Tempo Dust for now on. This stuff really, really dropped them fast. So I don't, I don't know. I mean, I dusted inside the nest. And I mean, dude, you could see them all in there just dying. That Tempo Dust really seems to be hurting them quite a bit. I look like a queen when I seen her coming up, but I don't think she is. But my god, dude, there's so many of them in there. And then you see like the piles of them where I took stuff out at. Like these are just all dead wasp here. I wasn't spraying, I didn't spray any kind of chemicals. This was 100% just tempo dust being used. I mean, I gr granted, I use a lot heavier than like an average pest control company sprays on stuff. I like to make sure I put enough, but uh, definitely crazy. Let's look at these guys. They are not doing too good. Their tempo dust really, really kills them. Here, I'm gonna put you guys down here for a second. Watch these dudes. Oh, that guy 
guy rolls right off. He's like, oh, fuck, I'm dead. They're trying to get away, but they can't. I was, like, wondering if we would see it kill him in front of our eyes, but... Maybe not. Yeah, they are moving a lot less. You see that guy right there? He's really tweaking out. He ain't too fond of that. But uh, this tempo dust seems to uh, knock him down much faster than delta dust. Now granted, this stuff is about 50% more than Delta Dust. Uh, I don't know how much of that video I deleted. My tripod hit the uh, record button on accident there. But uh, as you see, everything's dying. Everything down there, totally dead. Stuff worked wonders. So uh, as always, like and subscribe down there. And uh, hopefully, we will uh, continue to grow together here, and I can keep bringing you guys awesome videos. I really enjoy making them. I wish uh, I paid a little better. <laughs> Everyone thinks like you're, you got all these subscribers. You got two million views on your channel. You must make a lot. And I'm like, dude, I, I, I make like a hundred bucks a month on YouTube. YouTube pays so poorly that uh, it's kind of sad. My first summer. When I was doing it, I think I hit that first 2,000 subscribers and I got monetized and uh, I was making like 1,200 a month. And then uh, I don't know what happened over the last two years. It's just gone to complete hell. I got 23,000 more subscribers than I did then and I make a tenth of the money. So I'm like, yeah. I was there last summer, I was actually doing removals free of charge because I, I had these high hopes from my first summer on YouTube and I was like, you know, I could 1200 a month with 4,000 subscribers. Now I'm in the 10, 20,000 area. I, I, I assume this would supplement all my income and uh, it was like the income just gradually declined and declined as time went on. And now, uh, YouTube is more of a hobby. It's not any uh, any way of a uh, career down the road. It's just not paying good enough. But I love making videos for you guys. So I'm sticking around. And I keep making them. But uh, I'm going to be trying to make sure my own business here takes off. And I can actually make some money doing this stuff. Because, uh... Last summer was rough. I really had high hopes. I made all these posts that I was doing free removals and I'm like, you know, if I can keep the content coming, I'm gonna do good. And uh, man, I lost so much money last year just in the cost of products and gas going from removal to removal. So uh, this summer I've been charging people like a hundred bucks, which is way less than any companies in the area charge. I try to make sure no one turns my service down when they ask but uh definitely it's been doing better covers my gas covers all my equipment and whatnot and uh now youtube is pretty much just covers my products you know it, it buys my delta dust i'm like hey if i can score somewhere i'll take it so <laughs> you know it's uh kind of nuts so i'm like if i don't have a ton of videos and I'm not super active it's just because it's not really the greatest uh, resource to use with my time to make a lot more money just going out and doing removals but as always I like you guys you guys like me so I'm gonna keep releasing the videos it only takes a few extra minutes to uh, go ahead and record on these but uh definitely a little lower volume of work than the summer before doing them for free but I mean obviously anyone will take a free service not everyone wants to pay so <laughs> other than that this one is pretty exciting 
This is one of the furthest down ones I've ever seen, so that was something new. And uh, I don't know. I'll join you guys on the next one. And uh, hopefully we uh, stay busy here so we can keep bringing you guys some videos. But uh, catch you on the next one, guys.